Hello, aviation fans! Today we will make a small trip to Italy. Ah, Italy. Beautiful nature, beautiful architecture, beautiful cars, Monica Bellucci. But I'm not talking about that. What about Italian aviation? Well, what do you think? What kind of airplanes would the successors of Leonardo da Vinci and Enzo Ferrari create? The same as everything else, very unusual and very beautiful. Let's meet the Italian. Piaggio P-180 Avanti Light turboprop aircraft designed by the Italian Piaggio Aero Company in the middle of 1980s. Like all Italian products, it is unusual even where everything was thought to be clear. Unlike other planes of its class, Avanti has the unique three surface and two pushing engines configuration. Basic researches of a future design of the aircraft were started back in the end of 1970s. At that time, Piaggio Aero actively cooperated with the American Learjet Company, another world-famous business jet manufacturer. The influence of Learjet designers is noticeable by presence of some elements and solutions. First of all, small delta fans at the bottom of a fuselage. This element is classic for all Learjet aircrafts. Companies worked together until 1986. Then, Italians continued the development independently. The prototype of the first Piaggio Avanti made its maiden flight on September 1986. Certification process began in Italy and USA and was completed in 1990. The first 12 fuselages for Avanti were manufactured at the Piaggio plant at the city of Wichita, USA. The elements were sent to Italy for final assembly. The main market for light aircrafts is the US, and initially it was assumed that planes will be assembled in Wichita. But Avanti Aviation Wichita was on the edge of financial collapse and did not operate for several years. The company was saved by another, much more famous Italian brand. In 1998, Piero Ferrari, one of the leaders of the Ferrari concern and the son of the founder, assembled a group of investors and restarted the production. In 2005, Piaggio delivered its 100th plane. The mark of 150 planes was passed in 2008. In general, Avanti being a rather unusual aircraft with good performance but high cost, nearly $7 million, has a variable success. In 2008, 30 airplanes were delivered, and in 2013, only two. Piaggio doesn't forget about upgrades. In 2005, the latest Avanti 2 version has been certified. Avanti 2 received a glass cockpit, new Pratt Whitney Canada PT6 engines, increased speed by 18 km per hour, and reached better fuel efficiency. Most of avionics had also been modernized. A new step forward was the creation of Avanti Evo, improved and equipped with the most advanced systems. The aircraft had received new, more quiet composite propellers, new winglets and enlarged fuel tanks. For the production of the new plane, Piaggio invested $150 million into modernization of the factory in Albanga Airport, Northern Italy. Previously, the aircraft were assembled at the plant near the Christopher Columbus Airport in Genoa. In addition to civilian versions, Piaggio also makes military versions, generally for the Italian Air Force. The P-180 MPA Maritime Patrol Aircraft is an overseas patrol plane, and the second one, Piaggio Selex Hammerhead, is a reconnaissance and impact drone. That's right, the unmanned aircraft. Leonardo Concern developed a new Selex ES control system, and in 2013 it made its minor flight. The aircraft can perform long-distance reconnaissance missions and carry half a ton of weapons. Well. Let's look at Avanti closely. Piaggio P-180 is a two-engine turboprop aircraft. Avanti has a three-surface configuration, forward wing, main straight wing and T-tail. Forward wing is fixed and cannot turn, but after some time flaps were added to it. The fuselage diameter is not constant. It grows from nose to the center and decreases from center to tail. Therefore, the interior is much more spatial than the cockpit and tail section. At the same time, guys from Piaggio say that about 20% of total lift frame force of the airframe is created by the fuselage. Generally, Avanti's aerodynamics were the primary concern of the project, and it gave results. 
The aircraft has a cruise speed of 593 km per hour and it can easily accelerate to 742. For a non-jet airplane, those indications are very cool. While remaining a turboprop aircraft, it turned out to be 40% more economically efficient, which makes it very lovely for customers. To reach that speed, the aircraft was equipped with two turboprop engines with propellers behind. The rear position of the propellers made it possible to improve aerodynamics and reduce noise inside the cabin. However, that design has a price. Its wing lift is less than other planes of this class. So it was necessary to make such an exotic fuselage and put a small forward wing on it. In addition, cabin noise reduction is compensated by the increased noise of the area. The ESAA and FAA requirements are not violated, of course, but residents of the areas near the airports still complain about often turboprop roar. Well, Avanti is called Flying Ferrari. You want beauty and dynamics like Ferrari? Then don't complain about the roar of its engines like on Ferrari. Well, that's an interesting plane. What do you think about its exotic design? Comment below and be sure to subscribe. Fast flights and soft landings to you.